Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Mikey Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. What have I told you before about bimbos? I told you that I'd rather be with a bimbo. I told you that it's my belief that most guys would rather be with a bimbo. I told you that smart chicks can't stop talking about how smart they are. Smart chicks intellectualize too much. Generally, I have found that chicks with an upper IQ are just not that sexual. They'll have sex, then they will analyze it and pick it apart, and they can just as easily do without it. That's been my experience. And I have made jokes on the program to express my real feelings, saying things like, if Forrest Gump had a sister who's a 9 or a 10, I'm in. You've heard me say this, right? Well, once again, scientific evidence that your professor is on the cutting edge of technology, the cutting edge of pop culture, your professor is ahead of the curve. Now, your professor is not a scientist. Your professor expresses his views, his theorems based on real life, based on real life experience, not from my experiences in a laboratory. I leave that to the scientists. And how many times tuning into this show do you hear me read scientific evidence of the things I've been telling you all along? Well, here it is, this from the Sun newspaper in London, the London Sun. Brainy babes find it harder to have an orgasm because they are just too busy thinking, the study claims. The German survey found that the more educated a woman was, the less likely it was that she would be satisfied by sex. In the study... 62% of women, 62% of women who had completed their education, that means they get a college degree, said they often had problems achieving orgasm. 62%. Only 38% of women with a lower educational qualification said they had such problems. That's a pretty distinctive, pretty compelling difference. So if you're in bed with a bimbo, she's almost twice as likely to have an orgasm as your average Mensa candidate. Which goes back to what I always tell you. You want a bimbo. Brainy chicks are there to do calculations, to work on projects at the office. But they're not there for 
in your sexual satisfaction. They're just not, and they're not even there for their own sexual satisfaction. I've been telling you this for a long time. This is why I don't need to be with someone with a 160 IQ. This is why I don't need to be with somebody with a whole list of degrees. This is why I don't need to be with somebody as smart as I am. And yes, I've got a very high IQ. Big deal. I don't have to join Mensa or any organization to prove my worth. But I've met the chicks of Mensa. The ladies of Mensa, the women of Mensa, that would not make a layout in Playboy, I'll tell you right now. No way. But I've met very brainy women, and while it might be interesting to discuss various scientific theorems or uh, to discuss uh, demographic information or to discuss technological advances with them, having sex with them... Not fun. No chemistry. They just can't stop rubbing it in your face that they're smart. And now we have scientific evidence that shows that smarter women are less likely to have an orgasm. This study was conducted by a German lifestyle website. They surveyed over 2,000 women between the ages of 18 and 49. 62% of women who had completed their education said they often had problems achieving orgasm. Only 38% of women with a lower educational qualification said they had such problems. So if your boss is a chick with a master's degree in business, she's much less likely to be having an orgasm than your housekeeper. That's the bottom line. So doesn't that say to you, you're better off with a stupid broad, a dumb broad, than you are with a smart one? Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I'm not paying anybody's student loans off. I'm not paying anybody's car payments. I'm not helping anybody pay the mortgage on their grandmother's uh, house. I'm not doing it. Damn straight, Tom preaching. It's the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. That's official. Scientists have now proven what I've been telling you for years. Brainy chicks have a much harder time getting, having an orgasm. Period. What do you think about that? 1-800-5800-TOM. Why would you want to be with a Brady chick if that's true? Why? I want to be with someone who is a complete dope. A dope. A maroon. A bimbo. That's what I want. You think I'm kidding? If I need to have scintillating conversation, I'll go to a cocktail party. When I'm with a chick, I'm going to have my own cocktail party, if you know what I mean. Apparently, Dean knows what I mean. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Sean on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Sean. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. Hey, I, I can identify with this study pretty well. I actually... Uh... Not well. My two serious relationships I've been in. The first one happened to be a strip. I was going to be freaking out the neighbors. Otherwise, um, the girl I'm with now, basically, um, sweet girl, very smart. Um, basically, going for a PhD in literature, and it seems to be the sex uh, things I want to do. It's insulting to her, um, you know, that she's uh, maybe I'm denigrating her in some way. It has nothing to do with that. Um, the uh, orgasms, uh, honestly, it's like winding up a, a Model T Ford to, uh, <laughs> to, to get an orgasm out of her. Oh, yeah. my God. Having to be with those chicks, and you know the ones I'm talking about because apparently you have one, those chicks that you have to, you know, one hour of foreplay is not nearly enough. It's brutal, Tom. It's brutal. But, uh, you know, I'm kind of, I mean, to be honest, I've had to do my things on the side to uh, 
to, you know, please myself. And uh, but she's a great girl, but the the sex just the sex life. Yeah, but why would you there. want to stay with somebody when the sex is lousy? Um, you know, I'm we're basically I'm kind of on the way out of of this relationship, and it's kind of uh, it's a a long uh, tedious breakup. I, I know, I, and uh, you know, I, I know it's true though. But what you say is true. It's like why why be stuck in that? And uh, I'm basically on my way out of that relationship. Um, well, why why is it taking you so long? Uh, so it's a, it's a lot of stuff has happened pers in my personal life and her personal life. In the meanwhile, it's kind of prolonged uh, things that, uh, you know, otherwise uh, we've just been kind of in a bad spot, both of us. And so maybe you could say, like, it's there for type of, uh, it's basically more now like a companionship, mutual uh, support type deal. Oh, do you her, still but... have sex with her? Yeah, it's uh, it's occasional. and uh, What for? Um, well, man, you're a man. I'm a man. You know, I got to have a release once in a while. Yeah, but if you're just uh, there as a support system, why'd you tell her you're going out and get it somewhere else? Well, I mean, I have gone out and, uh, you know, I have to kind of lie where I'm going and if uh, what I'm doing and uh, just say I'm going out. Why do you have to lie about it? Um, you know, to cr just to not uh, create any unnecessary, uh, you know, fight or anything like that. It's just, you know, out of you're doing her a favor by staying. Yeah, you know, it's a tough situation. I mean, she's not doing you a favor by staying, is she? Uh, not necessarily, no. Not I mean, necessarily or no? No, no. So then you don't need to, you don't need to lie to her? Yeah, I know, but uh, you know how it is, just to avoid one. I'm still getting what I want, and but I'm just avoiding that uh, the headache, unnecessary headache that that comes involved, you know, that's involved with that. But uh, I am I'm taking your advice, Tom. I know I'm I'm uh, I got to build up my bullpen, do what I need to do, and uh, you know I've been smart though, no kids, and uh, besides the girlfriend, uh, I pretty much stick to your uh, lesson plan. Uh, you are the professor, and uh, I will I will follow, and I assure you that uh, I am in the process of. Taking care of this. You and, don't, uh, you don't need any more girlfriends. No more live-ins, none of that. You don't need it. That's very true, Tom. That's very true. And uh, I want to say thank you for all you do. You are doing public service, uh, community service here. And if you could take me out with Dean's voicemail, I love that, followed by Snoop Dogg. And all you right. have yourself a great day. All right, Sean, here you go. See, now you are the biggest asshole I've ever met in my entire life. Your like is 101 sh is completely retarded. Okay, you just got lucky, hon. Let me tell you, it will never happen again. You are such a piece of Bitch. I was eating a cookie. I thought that we were playing the long version. Now you have to hear me eat a cookie. I don't even know we cut that short. It's your fault, I just didn't know. Aaron left me some cookies today. I was eating a cookie. I, I timed it out. I put just enough cookie in my mouth to fit all of Dino's voicemail. Followed by, uh, was that uh, was that Snoop Dogg at the end? I don't remember anymore. Yeah. I had timed it out. I was going to swallow my last crumbs of that cookie just as we heard uh, Dean's girl there finish with a crescendo, and I didn't realize we had run the short for and now I've just vamped until I finished every bit of that cookie. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. It's Ryan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, what's up? I'm doing okay. Ryan, uh, question: Why do you care if the chick has an orgasm or not? As long as you get yours. Well, it's not whether I care if she has an orgasm or not. In fact, I really don't. Um, uh, it's beyond that. She also can't shut up and can't stop thinking and intellectualizing everything about the sex. Now, the last time I was with a Mensa candidate, uh, I was constantly being reminded of her intelligence, her intellect. Uh, she was more interested in talking than doing. Right. So uh, whether she had an orgasm or not was not important to me. What was important to me was whether I could have an orgasm. And you get to the point where you just don't want to hear anything. I, you just shut up. You know, the whole thing, I talk about women, they can't just shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! Shut up! They, they, they can't do it. And the smarter they are, the more they can't do it. 
So I, you hear what the callers are saying, that there's too much intellectual honesty. You heard the last caller, or the the caller who was saying, uh, you know, oh, he, he used to be the stripper, and you just put a pillow under her, and she's off to the races. And now he's with this intelligent girl, and she's, I don't want to do that. You're denigrating me. I don't, you're denigrating me. <laughs> Honey, I'm just trying to bang you, okay? I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to discuss. I don't want to compare and contrast. I don't want to intellectualize this. It is, this is pure lust. I'm just trying to bang the crap out of you. And and hot chicks understand this when they are bimbos, but uh, the Mensa candidates they can't shut up. Right on. But I indeed I don't care if they have an orgasm. I just care if I have an orgasm. <laughs> Right on, dude. Can you blow me up then? Of course I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Jay on the Tom Like You Show. Hello. What's up, Pimp Daddy Tom? How's your Monday going, my man? I just saw the ratings. Uh, that, that's what's up. I'll tell you what. Hey, that's what we like to hear. You know, more men learning it right, right? Oh yeah. Hey, I got to agree, man. I don't want some chick who's out there thinking quantum physics while I'm trying to bang her head against the headboard. There's just too much thinking involved there. I mean, it's a simple process. Well, that's the whole thing. I mean, do we have to think about whether the people next door are going to know you're having sex? Or do we have to think about whether your hair looks right? Do we have to think about whether what I'm doing is demeaning or denigrating you? I mean, no. Exactly. I mean, do I want her thinking about, you know, what she did today at work, what she's doing yesterday at work, or do I want her to actually be into what we're doing? Because that's the only thing that she can concentrate on. Right. You know, I would rather uh, be with a chick who's not worried about work because she has a lousy job. She doesn't, you know, it's the, it's the difference between women who have a job and women who have a career. I don't want to be with career women. I want to be with a woman with a job. And when she's done for the day at Food for Less or El Pollo Loco, I want her to come home and just think about banging me. Because really, what are you going to think about? Tomorrow's work day? Yeah, there's nothing to think about. Yeah, exactly. There's nothing getting in the way. No tension, no stress, just a normal run-of-the-mill life that, that you're the excitement of, you know? That's what I want. Yeah. Hey, I also got something else to run by you. You know, it's kind of a theory I've had. Maybe I get somebody else's opinion. Speaking about orgasms, men and women having orgasms, I've always thought being ticklish, or if the girl's woman you're doing is ticklish, that she's got to be having a better orgasm with somebody's body that's less sensitive than, than that. What do you think? What? What? Is, I don't understand what you're saying. All right. I'm saying people who are ticklish, you know, have that yeah. little extra bit of sensitivity can have better orgasms than people who who aren't. I believe that people who are ticklish are releasing sexual tension. Hey, there's a way to think about That's it. That's what I believe. Nice. See, it, it, it's a common theory there. Yes. Hey, well, I got to get back to work, Tom. I appreciate your time. Could you do me a big favor? What's that? Take me out with a bong ripping Kobe style, my man. I certainly can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Mario on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom. You know what? I want to say I've admired your show up until a point. I just think Tom, it's time for you to hang it up. Really? Are you a broadcasting professional, sir? No, sir. I have to. Have you I'm seen welcome. the latest ratings? Uh, I'm not even concerned about the ratings. Well, you should be because I'm going to be on as long as I've got good ratings. I'm going to be on the air. That's how this business okay, works. That, that's the same. That's the same with Larry King there. Huh? As long as he's got good ratings. Actually, Larry know. King has lousy ratings. Oh well, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Whoever has I, good I, ratings stays on the radio. Yeah, I understand that. I think right? you should. Might, I think you should just try for a little bit for yourself because you used to be Tom the Great. Oh. Now you turned into Tom the Oscar. Oh, well, what what happened? Mr. Broadcasting know, you know, Professional. No, no. You're the Broadcasting Professional. You, 
The ratings certainly don't indicate that I've no, had I'm any not here slide. To argue ratings. I'm here to argue whether you should save face and just hang it up. There's no. I will not hang it up as long as I'm getting ratings. As long as I'm getting so ratings, the station so makes you, millions you of dollars. As long as they make millions of dollars, they pay me millions of dollars. That's you're, the way it works. You, you're, you're, you're going the way of Whitman. I what? You're going the way of Whitman. Are you familiar? Who's that? Oh, yeah. Okay. But anyway, what I wanted to say was... I, I, you are the Those who have ratings are on the air. Those who don't that. are I, not. I, I pay you a that is how it works. I want to say that you you were the genius. You were Tom. I, uh, you were all, I don't have to be a genius. Good. All I have to do is get the highest ratings in my that's demographic, that, which that, I do. That, End that of story. Is that what you set out for? That's what it. I'm in the advertising business, son. That's all I'm here for. I understand. Do me a commercial. No, no. You'll be hearing commercials in about five minutes here. You want to do a commercial for my business? No, I'll tell you what. You, uh, if you wanted to come up with the uh, the price tag, which is about fifteen hundred bucks, come on right. down to the station, talk to the sales manager. His name is Dave Severino, and he'll sell you a spot. Well, thanks, Tom. I just wanted to get on the air, share a few minutes with you. You, uh, you reminded me of Bill Handel at start. I was in North Carolina for about seven years at Fort Bragg. I want to give a, a shout out to all my soldiers overseas. I want to say who uh, I already say who. Uh. And then uh, thank you, Tom. Good day. All right. Whatever that was all about. He was all over the road. We have this new breed of caller now that just wants to try to jerk my chain. I was listening back to a rerun of our show on the air about a week ago. And uh, there's like a lot of these now, these people who call up and just try to get me into an argument. In reality, they're just fans of the show. Like him. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Scientific evidence backs up what your professor has been telling you, that the smarter a woman is, the more likely it is she can't have an orgasm. That's what I've been telling you. Bethany on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Um, number one, I wanted to say that my fiancé respectfully told me that I was gaining weight a few months ago, and I started to lose the weight. Oh, my gosh. He is banging me and banging me and paying everything. That's our role. I look hot. I wear lingerie. He bangs me, and we he pays the bills. I mean, it's like a role play. It's like a role thing, you know? I take care of the baby. You know? I mean, these women don't get it. But that's not, that's not on the subject. What I wanted to ask you was this. In the study, did the study say anything about why the women were having problems? having the orgasms because they had, you know, they were intelligent. It, it claimed it why. claimed that uh, they are having a hard time having an orgasm because, I'm quoting the Sun newspaper from London, they are too busy thinking. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. In the segregation business, that's ridiculous. Sex is an animal act. It's like, what? Oh. <laughs> That's ridiculous. But apparently, the higher your IQ, the more you can't stop thinking about other things. That's insane. But it makes perfect sense. The other thing I was... So now I, I, just, I just want to have sex with dopes. <laughs> well, either that or women. You know, I have a pretty high IQ. I don't have a bunch of... I have one degree, a low degree. But I have a pretty high IQ, but I understand that... Sex is an animal act, and it's like, you know, it's supposed to be a certain way. You're not supposed to whine and dine and think and, oh, my gosh. But anyway, and the other thing I was going to ask was why, um, actually, another caller asked, um, why do you guys care if these women have orgasms? I mean, you know, you're... I don't, I, as I said to a previous watch. caller, I don't care if the women have orgasms. What I care about is, at the same time, they're having a hard time having an orgasm. They do what that caller earlier said they do. They start saying things like, I don't know if I want to do that. It's okay. demeaning the women, and I think you're trying to okay. uh, you're trying to use me and demean me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shut okay. up, sweetheart. <laughs> Just keep your mouth full there, darling. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay, thank you, Tom. Thank you, dear. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Survey from Germany says if women are smarter, they have a much harder time having an orgasm. 
If that's true, don't you just want to bang dopes? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I've been gone from it for about two years now, and it is just clear saying it is worth it. Now I go out all the time with different girls. It's a blast. I don't know what I was thinking, imprisoning myself. It's the Tom Likas Show. Replace Conan when Conan comes to L.A. to host The Tonight Show. Not happening. Jimmy Fallon will replace Conan O'Brien. It's a done deal. Who's Jimmy Fallon? How quickly they forget, if they ever knew. <laughs> Put it this way, he's not Carson Daly. Sad to say it. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. Uh, we're talking about a study that uh, bears out what I've been telling you boys for a long time. Smarter chicks are more difficult to deal with in bed. They they have less orgasms. They think too much. They rationalize too much. They intellectualize too much. You'd rather be boning the, uh, you know, the cashier from Ralph's than to be boning a Rhodes Scholar. I pretty much try to keep it that way myself. If you're dumb as a post, come on in. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. RN on the Tom Likas Show. Is that your name or your occupation, sir? No, that is my name, Tom. Okay. All right. I just I was just talking to Dino there, and I just wanted to point out, you know. You were talking, talking to Dino? Uh, it, it wasn't it Were Dino you talking or... to Dino? Hang on a second. Dean? We're going to bring Dean in right now. The caller was talking to Dino. Step right up to the plate here, Dean. Uh, RN. You and he apparently were having a very spirited conversation out there. What was it about? Oh, terrific. I'm glad Aaron didn't bother to say what he called in about. Uh, he was saying how all the hottest chicks in Playboy and other magazine, <laughs> magazines are, are come from community college, uh, therefore yes. proving your point that smart chicks uh, that go to four-year colleges uh, – aren't uh, in the pages of Playboy. You'll find them at uh, community colleges and so forth. If they go to college at all. all. Correct. So was he good on the phone with you? Did you guys have a good conversation? We had an excellent conversation. That's great. Albeit brief, but it was. Uh, I felt it was good enough well, and he airworthy. Apparently, he apparently liked it even more than you did. Apparently so. He made a big deal about it. Thanks again, Aaron. All right, uh, so no need to talk to you. Dean already updated us. Thank you, sir. All right. I think he's gone already. <laughs> I'm not going to stop at this until you people learn to get on the air and pretend you never spoke to the screener. You get on the air and, and talk like it's fresh. Don't don't act like we're continuing on your conversation with Dean. We didn't hear your conversation with D. We were not privy to your conversation with D. Jesus. People keep doing this. Oh, yeah, I was just talking to Dino. <laughs> uh, if you tell me you were talking to Dino, I'm going to have Dino come in here and tell me what you two were talking about, and you're not going to get a chance to finish. What do I need you for if you've had the conversation already with Dean? Stupid. 1-800-5800-TOP. Part of the problem since he's busy having a spirited conversation with the next caller, he won't hear what I'm about to say, is that he's doing his own show in there. He squeezes them like an orange. He squeezes every last drop out of them. By the time they get on the air, they're like, well, I already said everything. But we're going to break them of that habit. One, we're going to break these calls of that habit. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Every talk radio cliche goes out the window on this show. Every one. Long time listener, first time caller. You're such a breath of fresh air. You know, you're so well informed. I love your show. I have a question about red ants. I have red ants on my patio, and I don't know how to get rid of them. And I was wondering if any of your callers would know how to get rid of red ants. I'll hang up and listen. But before I do, darling, I just wanted to say that everybody over here at the assisted living facility is a big fan of yours. And I wanted you to know that I, I never heard of your show before, but then my 
mother told me about it. She's a big fan of yours. And if she was able to get out of bed and come down and say hello to you at the station, she would love it. All that stuff goes out the window on this show. All right? I was talking to your producer, and he's such a nice young... Shut up! Jesus! 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. JJ on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, first of all, for, first time caller, long time listener. Great. And uh, good job on the on the show. Second, uh, I just had a quick question for you. Uh, does a, ha a woman, a girl having multiple orgasms, would that make would that necessarily make her dumber? No, it wouldn't necessarily make her dumber. But according to this survey, it would appear that the more she orgasms, the less likely it is she's that bright. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you, for, thank you, Tom. Wouldn't you rather be with somebody who has orgasms than to be with somebody who can lecture you about, you know, the Big Bang Theory? <laughs> hey, Tom. Uh, I'll mean, give you the Big yeah, Bang Theory. Man, Come here, uh, dear. What? Tell me, t tell me it doesn't boost up y y your ego, even if it is acting, though. T tell me it doesn't boost up when you see him scream, though. Well, I would prefer someone who can have an orgasm, but mainly for my own benefit. If, if somebody can have an orgasm, that means they're going to give me more sex. That's true. That's my biggest concern. I want more. Uh, you're already thinking about the next meal before you finish this one, then. Absolutely. All right. I'm, 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 I'm at the buffet blow? table, for God's sake. <laughs> Can you blow me up, Kobe style? Kobe style. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. 1-800-5800-TOM. That is our telephone number. Heather on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. 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 How are you? Do you care? Um, kind of. I was just calling. Not because... really. That was a filibuster. It was a yeah. time killer. <laughs> While you get your act together and figure out exactly what you're going to say, you don't really care how I am, do you? I know. I know. I really don't. I'm no. not going to lie. I know. Um, I was calling to see. But you lied to me and tried to tell me that maybe you did. Anyway, um, I'm an English teacher, and you said that smart women have less orgasms, and actually, it's smart women have fewer orgasms. So, when's the last time you had an orgasm? Probably been a while, huh? How can I talk about it? Because I'm a teacher. Yeah. There we go. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Because <laughs> there's nothing to talk about. Uh, by the way, <laughs> Dean just got a call. This person was on the ball. I'll bet she had an orgasm five minutes ago. A woman called in to say that she wasn't fooled. That was me doing that voice. Hello. <laughs> what do you expect? I worked in Miami for two years. Every call sounded like that. Hello. I love your show. <laughs> also, I listened to KNX after an earthquake. My jelly jaws were rattling. It was kind of a kind of a rolling motion. <laughs> you ever tune into a radio station like an all news station after uh, after the big earthquake or after some big catastrophe? You know, every, all the seventy four year olds with nothing better to do, who are insomniacs, they can't sleep, they're on their angina medication, they all go running to the telephone. I'm in Tarzana. I could feel it. Can you feel it? I felt it. I'm wondering if anybody else felt it. 1-800-5800-TOM <laughs> is our telephone number. Dean says more people heard me say the, the, the letters K and X on here than they hear on the station itself. I just seen the ratings. Apparently that's true. What are you going to do? 1-800-5800-TOM is our... I'll tell you what, though. If we had an earthquake every 10 minutes, they'd be number one. They would. Number one. Yes. Then when there are no earthquakes, they're giving you recipes on the air. Very exciting. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Lu Ulysses, right out of mythology. You're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hi. 
Hey, uh, first of all, Tom, why do you care if women have orgasms in the first place? I don't care if they have orgasms. If no, they, just, all I no. care about, all I care, if they have orgasms, they're going to bang me more. I don't care about their satisfaction. Well, screw it, you're going to bang them once in your way, so just... <laughs> bone them and just drop them. <laughs> uh, well, believe me, I I do bone them and drop them as often as possible. <laughs> so as soon as I'm done up here, I talked done. to the guy the other day who was a student at Bangham Young University. <laughs> All right, Tom, blow me up, man. I'll, I'll blow you up, baby. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. There's something in the air. Something in the air today. Trey on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How's it going, Tom? Great. So I have some to support that uh, the thing that dumb girls have more or orgasms. I dated a girl that was so dumb. Every time she was, she had multiple orgasms, but she was so dumb. You know, like in movies, when uh, they say like you know two years uh, two years earlier or something like that at the bottom, she would ask like how, how did they go how did they go back in time? You know, she was the dumbest girl, but every time she had multiple <laughs> orgasms. <laughs> How, I, I, I'm not kidding you. <laughs> I love dumb girls, though. I will yeah, never right. forget. I would never forget the dumb chick. She still had a VCR. I never forget the dumb chick I dated, who called me for help with her VCR, <laughs> and she said that she had a show scheduled for tomorrow night, scheduled to tape, uh -huh. and she turned on the VCR and she was not able to see it. Uh -huh. And I said that's because it hasn't been on yet. Yeah. She thought by programming into the VCR she could watch it now. Oh yeah. So it would like it would put her in the future or something. Right. Yeah. There's tons of dumb girls out here in LA. So it's a good place to get. No, away. no, there are dumb girls everywhere. Yes. It's just that in places like New York and Boston, these are ball busting bitches who flow right to the top, you know? Yes, 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 you're right. All right, Tom, thank you very much. Can you take me out with the Phoenix helicopter crash? Ah, uh, that would be so tasteless. It really would. I know, but I, I just got to have it. This may be the end of this thing. Well, he's taking okay, off he's out. running. Okay, uh, now it's a foot chase. Okay, now he's jumping into another, in another vehicle. Now he's in another vehicle. Okay, okay. All right, they're Doors closing open, in. Please, Looks okay. like they've... Oh, <laughs> we're we're going to pull out. We don't, we, don't, uh, we don't know what has just happened right there. <laughs> 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Tony on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, your father. I'm doing okay, son. Outstanding. Hey, you know, I would, I just wanted to chime in and uh, and contribute the fact that, yes, I agree. The dumber they are, the better they they, they nut. <laughs> I, found, I found that a great place to find these women, too, are in, like, rehab centers. <laughs> right outside the... Uh, County jail where they let them out. <laughs> you can find them in bulk there. I tell you, I get more dates that way. <laughs> and I never date a woman who's not on probation or parole and not running. Because when they need school, then they're not calling the man. <laughs> now, do you have I'm a problem? Do these girls ever, like, uh, you know, they know where you live and stuff? Is that ever a problem? Actually, like I say, they're on probation or parole and running, so I'm not worried about it. They ain't calling the cops. <laughs> <laughs> so nobody has ever, like, you know, uh, tried to cut your manhood off? or. Uh, well, no, but you got to watch out the chicks with no teeth. Every once in a while, you get a good gummer, and uh, you, they, if they haven't got all them post things removed, they'll leave you looking like a churro. <laughs> <laughs> Then you have to use those cinnamon-flavored condoms. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likas Show.